Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today. And if I can get this chair to stop rocking, I might do a video for you. I'm glad you came to visit today and I do want to say right up front from the beginning, this video may not be for everybody. Um, I'm going to be talking about dentures today, specifically about my dentures, but it may apply to others. So those of you who are young or are not wearing dentures at this time, or somebody that's older and has been uh, blessed enough to not have to wear dentures, you may not be interested in and I have no problem with you clicking off, um, but if you're interested in knowing about dentures, maybe those of you who are in the process of going through the denture journey, maybe getting your teeth pulled and getting dentures, maybe something that I'm talking about today can help you. But I, I, I just... I really don't even really know how to start. I do have some things written down here. If I had it to do over again, would I? Yes, I would. But I would definitely do some things different now that I know. And of course, nobody knows until they actually get into the process of having the dent. Come on, Jade. Jade's wanting up there. So they get into the process of having the dentures, how they're going to feel about it. It's different for everyone. But when I was going in for the uh, initial visit and the discussion about my teeth, what condition they were in, how many they were going to pull, how they were going to pull them, you know, how many times it would take, how many steps. And while I was involved in getting dentures, if I had enough sense to think far enough ahead and, you know, project into the future what could happen, what might happen, I would have said, go ahead and just take them off. When he told me I had five teeth on the bottom that they could save, they weren't in bad condition, I was just so happy about being able to save some teeth that I didn't even think about the future and what it might hold. Now that I'm looking back on it, I regret it because I really wish that I would have told them just to go ahead and snatch them all out and let me deal with the dentures. Um, as far as these bottom ones go, they fit great. They feel good. I think they look good. Although I do feel like that when people approach me wearing my dentures, that they can tell that I'm wearing dentures. That could just be something I'm experiencing but I feel like anybody I talk to says she's wearing dentures. And I hope that's not the case. I think they look good. I like the way they look, except for like I've told you before, I feel like the top is too flat and then it needs to be round. And I am in the process of trying to find photographs of how I want my dentures to look because when I go in for my next appointment, they're supposed to try them on and they can shape them and fit them right then. You know, they can change it. It's going to be a, 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 a temporary try on. And she said they can adjust the color if I want them lighter, which I think this color is good. And she said they can adjust the shape and fix it right then. And then that way when they send it off to the lab to have the actual denture made, that's going to be my permanent denture, and so I need to know what I want. But now I regret not telling them just to go ahead and pull them all because I'm thinking in the future I'm going to have problems with these five teeth that are down here, my natural teeth. I'm going to get cavities in them. They're going to go bad, and I'm going to end up having them pulled, and then I'll have to have a brand new denture put in, which means more money. And right now, at this time in my life, money is all that's on my mind. Because those of you who have been on my channel for a while know my car is in the process of being worked on. And by the way, I still haven't heard anything on it. have no idea what they're doing to it or how much it's going to cost. But I'm trusting that the Lord's going to work that out for me. And so I'm trying not to stress out and worry about it. In that one video uh, where I did my updating my life, I'm sure a lot of you could tell by looking at my face how stressed I was because I told you before, when I get stressed and upset, I break out. 
I had breakouts all over my face and right here in the corner of my mouth. I had a breakout there that was bloody. The thing was, I never noticed that until after I posted the video and I watched it back on my TV here at the house. And I'm like, oh, good grief. Look at my face. Look how broke out it is. That's stress. That's what stress does to me. But anyway, let me get on to these uh, questions. And I'm titling this video, Denture Wears Problems and How to Deal. Now, these are problems that I've had. That's not necessarily meaning that everybody's going to have these that has dentures. But some of the denture wearers out there may have these problems. And if you're brand new, you may say, how do I deal with this? These are some things that I've discovered, and these are how I deal with them. They might help you. I don't know. And they're in no particular order. The first thing that I have written down here is biting into foods. Now, I'm going to say from the beginning, I am not happy with the way my dentures are performing. I was expecting once I got my upper and lower end, my teeth would go back to the way they was naturally. I mean, I could eat anything I want. The dental assistant told me I could eat whatever I want. So I thought that was going to be the case, but that's not true. Now, I have seen videos. There's this one particular gentleman that I watch, and if I can find his channel name, I'll post it up here for you to see. I watched a lot of his videos in the beginning when I was getting my teeth pulled before I got the dentures so I could kind of know what to look forward to. And he showed in one of his videos, uh, after his gums healed and he got his permanent teeth, how he was able to eat anything. And he even posted videos of him biting into burritos, sandwiches, anything he wants, he was biting into. That's not the case for me. If I'm eating something that has any kind of substance to it, that's big at all, I have to either tear it up into tiny pieces with my hand or take a knife and a fork and cut it into small pieces. And that includes hamburgers. I haven't tried to eat a burrito yet. I want so bad to go to Taco Bell and get one of them $5 boxes, but I'm afraid I'll spend the money on it and get it home and not be able to eat it. The last fast food that I went after I got my dentures thinking, yay, I went to Arby's. Because the commercial looked really good of that thing called uh, Wagyu Burger Hamburger. And I thought, wow, well, I'm going to get me a Wagyu Burger. And I'll just jump right down into that thing and eat it. it. Didn't happen. I had to take a knife and fork, cut it into tiny little bite size, about the size of a piece of corn or green pea. Fork it and try to eat it. And even then it, it wasn't. It wasn't a happy experience. So all I'm going to say how to deal with that is if you've got foods that you want to eat and you're pretty sure you can chew them up, still go ahead and cut them into pieces because it could help you in the long run. Uh, maybe you don't have to cut them up as tiny as the way I have to cut mine up, but I would still take a knife and a fork and cut them into little squares or little bite-sized pieces. Now, the second thing is something that I'm not dealing with at all right now, and it's sore spots in the mouth. Now, in the beginning, when I had my dentures, this wasn't the bottom ones. This is when I had the top ones because I got them on two different visits. I didn't get them all at the same time like a lot of people do. When I went to wear that top denture, I had these teeth here in the front had just gotten pulled when they put the immediate denture in. So they were still kind of sore and tender. And then even after wearing them, I began to develop on the sides little tender spots here and here. When I put the denture in, it rubbed against it and it hurt. What do you got? What do you want, Jade? What are you trying to tell me? You're interrupting my video. Yeah, you're cute and everything, but I'm trying to make a video and you're up here interrupting it. Do you need something? What do you need? You're in the middle of my video. I'm trying to tell the people important stuff, Jade, and you're interrupting me. Why don't you go play with your sister? Go get one of your mom Chi Chi toys out and play with it. Anyhow, um, what was I saying? Oh, okay. 
And the way that I deal with that, I remembered, Jay, I'm trying to do a video. You're being rude. You're being rude. Um, when I went into the dentist's office to get teeth pulled, before they would stick the needle in my gum, she took a Q-tip with numbing cream and put in there. And then I would sit for a minute or two and let it numb, and then the dentist would come in and shoot the needle in there. So I thought, I'll get some numbing cream. So I bought some, I don't even remember the brand name of it. I should have had it in here so I could show you. I after, When I get ready to edit the video, I'll put the name of it up at the top here so that you'll know. Anyway, I got a Q-tip. I bought some numbing cream. And on the spots where I was having problem with my denture rubbing, I would squirt some of that on a Q-tip and I would rub it in there on those spots and I would let it sit for a minute or two. And then I would pop the denture in. And it honestly, it did help. So those of you who have your dentures now and you're trying to wear them, I would suggest that. But before you do it, I'm no dentist, I'm no doctor, please do call your dentist and ask them about it and see if it's okay, especially if you've got stitches in your mouth. Because I'm just telling you what I did. Now, I didn't even ask my dentist if I could do it. I just went ahead and done this. That's on me. And it did help me. But please, check with your dentist before you do that. Now, this third thing that I'm going to put out uh, here, this is something that still irritates the poop out of me, for lack of better words. It's food sticking to the mouth. Seems like anything I eat, unless it's soft food like jello or applesauce or pudding, it sticks all in my mouth. On the sides over here, on the roof up there, on the inside down here, and the front down on the bottom, food sticks. Now, in the beginning when I would eat and it would do that, I would actually try to get my tongue over there and get it out. Like, you know, the tongue don't fit over the denture because the dentures sit higher up than your natural teeth. Think about it. Your gums, your teeth. Now you've got gums with a plastic apparatus on top so it sticks up higher. You can't get your tongue over there to clean out any food that's stuck in here. Yes, you can take your finger. I have done that and stick it in there and get it out if you have to. I've done that lots of times. Um, Probably the easiest and bestest way, bestest, is that even a word, best? I don't know. Gargle. Just go somewhere in the bathroom or the kitchen. I do it in the kitchen. Get a cup of warm water, salt water. If you've got stitches in your mouth and stuff, I would say salt water. Gargle it around and it'll remove all them food particles and just spit them out. I have done that before too. Pretty much now at this point in my life, I've gotten used to the feeling of having food stuck on my teeth after I eat. And I just don't do nothing with it. I just leave it in there and deal with it. After a while, the saliva and the up and down of your mouth, it breaks it up and eventually it gets it out of there. You know, it bugged me a lot in the beginning. It still bugs me that it's there. But I pretty much just resign myself to, hey, that's the way it's going to feel for the rest of my life when I eat food. It's going to stick. I might ask my dentist about it when I go back for my partial plate. See if it's normal. Those of you who've had dentures for a while, now this is where you can help me out. Is that normal? Do you have that problem? with When you get through eating, food sticks all around in there and you can't get it out? Let me know what you do. You can help me out. Um... And the fourth thing I'm bringing up, wearing and removing a while. Um, when I first came home with this upper, the dentist told me to not take it out for 24 hours, to sleep with it in, leave it in. I did that. And even after I did that, like for the first, I'd say the first three or four days, I still wore it all the time. I would take it out once a day and rinse my mouth out with salt water, then I would put it back in. I pretty much wore it 24 hours a day because I felt like it could only help because when the denture's in there and your gums are healing, your gums are kind of healing to the shape of your denture. 
And I figured if I did it that way, the denture would stick better. After the gums shrunk, you know, they would shape it, if that makes sense. Um, but even though I have to wear my dentures now every day when I go to work, that's one of the first things I do when I come home, is get these things out of my mouth. Jade's doing her nails, in case you wonder what that head jerking is. She's, she's grooming, I guess she's grooming her nails. That's how, yeah, she's doing her nails. Um, I always take them out at least once a day for several hours. To <laughs> She's still got good teeth as she's doing her own nails. I used to probably buy nails too. Anyway, to get back on track. Jade, you're ruining this video. I don't know if I'm even going to edit this stuff out. I might just leave it, leave it in there. Um, I do take them out now for a few hours a day. And that is just to give my gums a rest. From the stress and the struggle and the work of, of supporting dentures, holding them in, chewing on them, biting on them, talking on them, I take my teeth out to give my gums a break. If that even is a thing, I don't know. That's just what I do. And number five, I want to talk a little bit about denture adhesive. Cream versus powder. Now, growing up, my grandparents had dentures. All I ever saw was teeth in a glass of water and a tube of polydent in the bathroom. That's all I knew. That's all I thought there was was polydent. Since I've become a denture wearer, I've discovered there's a whole spectrum of different types of adhesive you could get. Different brand names, some more expensive than others, some may be better than others. I don't know so much if expensive ones are better. But when I first was, uh, after I talked to the dentist about wearing uh, the, the adhesive, I called it a glue. I still do sometimes. Wearing the glue in my mouth. I asked him, you know, is it okay if I use the glue on my teeth now? Uh, I bought powder adhesive. Now, the reason I used the powder, I didn't know anything about powder, like I said, growing up. Uh, a gentleman that I used to date had upper and bottom dentures, and that's what he used was powders. Because when we would go to a restaurant to eat, he already had his teeth in, but he didn't have them glued in. And he would go out to the truck and get his powder, his denture powder that he carried. Or maybe he had it in his shirt pocket. I don't remember when he went in the bathroom. But anyway, he would excuse, after he ordered the food, he would excuse himself from the table and he would go and get the powder and powder up his dentures and put them in. And he didn't seem to have any problem with his slipping or falling out. Because when I kissed him, they stayed in. So I thought, well, I'm going to get some powder. I don't know about the cream but I do know the powder worked for him, so I'll try the powder. So I wore powder for a long, long time. Now, I have since bought a few tubes of different types of uh, glue. I keep saying glue. And uh, every once in a while, I'll put the glue in there and use the glue. And uh, this one gentleman whose channel name I should have already put up here by now. If I haven't, I'll put it now. Uh, I think in one of his videos, I'm not sure. I'm going to go back and re-watch some, some more of his videos today because I've got questions. Maybe he can answer some of these questions in his video. I think he said that he put he put glue in there and powder also to give it a really tight grip. Now, they do have another product out there, and I have tried this, called Seabond. And it's like a little wafer, a dental wafer that you put in there. And I think that's what he talked about in one of his his videos, too, was uh, when his gums were still healing and he wasn't sure about using the powder and the regular glue, he took one of the C-bonds and put it in his denture. And it helped to glue it in his mouth, but it also helped to give him a little bit of a, a cushion against where the the stitches were and the healing was raw, that C-bond wafer kind of softened that a little bit so that it didn't hurt as much. And I have bought a few of the C-bond things and I've used them. They don't last very long. And the way I work now, um, I put my dentures in here at the house before I go into work and I wear them all night while I'm there. 
Um, of course, I'm awake most of the time I'm there. Every once in a while, I lay down and take a little nap or whatever. But they have to hold for, I'd say, a good 12 hours before I can get home and take them out. Because I'm probably anywhere from 9 to 12 hours at work. So I want to make sure my dentures stay in. So really what you use would be up to you. I would say experiment. If you could find another, this is just a recommendation. If you could find another person that you're really close friends with that's denture wearer already for a while, uh, maybe go to them and say, hey, have you got like an extra tube of cream or a bottle of powder that I could borrow just to experiment with? And then take them home and try them so that you don't have to chunk out your money until you find out which one you like. Because that stuff's not cheap to buy. It's not. Um, and if, you know, they've got a C-Bomb wafer, say, hey, can I have one of the C-Bomb wafers too? Now, the C-Bomb wafers, they make them for upper and lower. So you'd have to get whichever kind of wafer for whichever denture. If you're going to, mine I had to get them was just for the uppers because that's what I got first. I never have got any for the bottom. I haven't tried them. I may go and pick up some next week, some C-Bonds on the bottom and try that. But that's just a suggestion. If you've got somebody close to you, a relative or a friend that would let you say, okay, here's a half a tube of polygrip and fix a dent and whatever else, and take it home and try it and see which one you like. And then that way, when you find the one you think is a good fit, go spend your money to actually buy the product. Now, this last one that I'm bringing up is something that I think you guys probably notice a lot in my videos. Uh, nobody's really made any mean comments or really said anything about it. Uh, it was brought up to me, but it was brought up to me by a family member. It wasn't brought up on my YouTube channel, and nobody in the comments left it. But that is about swallowing. And I do seem to swallow a lot in my videos, and that's because the dentures are causing a buildup of spit. Saliva is the correct word. I'll say saliva because that sounds more PC. Um, and I, I think it's because my mouth is still not adjusted to having the dentures in, and my mouth considers it a foreign object. And the buildup of the saliva is kind of like a protective message. And when it gets to a whole bunch of saliva in there, I have to swallow it. And it's hard for me to swallow it. It's not because the dentures are causing a problem. I don't think. It's just because there's so much saliva so constantly built up in my mouth that it seems like I'm constantly swallowing saliva, swallowing saliva. And uh, that may subside after a while. Like I said, my teeth are new still. I haven't had this bottom plate but just for a couple of months. And I'm still getting used to all this. So that's all I have for you today in this video. I don't, I'm surprised Ginger didn't come up here and join us. But Jade came. And she groomed her nails while she was up here. We really do appreciate you stopping in. I hope this video helps some of you denture wearers out there. And some of you soon-to-be denture wearers out there, it's, it's definitely an experience when you get the dentures. You have to learn how to talk, how to eat, how to smile, how to do all the stuff that you did when you was a baby, getting your teeth. You have to learn how to do it all over again, basically. So thank you so much. Jade, you want to say anything? You want to say goodbye to the peoples? And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye for this one. Ginger just now got up here. Turn around so the camera can see you. When Ginger gets up, Jade wants to get down. Here's Ginger. She got here in the tail end. She got here in the tail end of the video. Now for, for real and say bye. See you in the next video. Thanks.